I wanted to make a quick announcement. I'm doing another show. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brunel Jones II, and I'm back with another episode of what it's like being a musician in New York City, baby. You dig? And we are doing something very unique today. Well, what can be more unique than making a living off of just playing saxophone? Well, let me tell you, I'm playing anime music tonight. I want to be the very best. My boy Brandon Troy, a good friend of mine, trumpet player, he hit me up to play with this band that plays anime music, all different types of arrangements of different songs from various animes. I actually have my neck strap on right now because I'm, I'm practicing some of the music one more time before I have to get going. But we're playing in Brooklyn, so after I finish practicing, I gotta pick out a nice fit, and I have to load the car and start driving. For the people who watch this series, y'all know that I love to drive <laughs> to these gigs. And look, before you ask, why are you always driving in New York City? Isn't that a lot? Can't you ever find parking, not find parking, whatever? Look, 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 let me tell you something about New York City, right? First off, as a musician, most of our performances, our work happens at nighttime. And if you know anything about New York City parking, you know that at nighttime, a lot more spots free up, whether it's people leaving work or the, the places that you can park, that you couldn't park during the day, you can actually park there now, right? Like all these commercial loading zones and stuff, a lot of them allow you to park there after 7 p.m., so it's it works for me. I've had so much bad luck the past few years living in New York City, taking the train, because there have been times where I get to the train station, and the trains go through some major delays, right? And I have to wait literally 30 minutes to get on the train. The train will take 30 minutes to get to me. It took me exactly an hour to get to 14th Street, which is crazy because from where I'm at, if, it, if anything takes an hour, it'll be getting to work. But yeah, I don't blame myself for being late to sound check. And then the trip itself still takes another 30 to 40 minutes, so I end up being super late to a gig and I look bad, even though I thought I was leaving at a good time. So. We just eliminate that with driving. Yes, there's traffic, but you can plan more. I promise you, you can plan better with traffic than you can with train delays because you're not at all in control of, tra of train delays. I wanted to make a quick announcement. I'm doing another show, another performance at the famous New Blue in New York City on November 7th, 10 p.m. Now, just like my album release party, this isn't just a show. No, 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 no. My band is playing at 10 p.m. and then at 11.30 the party starts. So we have a DJ coming on and then we'll all get to mingle, um, have a drink, have a talk, exchange words, exchange vibes, all of that and etc. You know, it's just going to be a regular party, a post-Halloween party, if you will, <laughs> November 7th. So I'm very excited for that. The ticket link is in my description below. Please get your tickets while you can. I would love to see a lot of you there and I appreciate the people who watch my YouTube videos, because between you and me, YouTube fans are more engaged and they're more real than Instagram fans. You know, Instagram is very short form content, scroll, scroll, yada, yada. YouTube is like these people are taking the day, the time out of the day. Y'all are taking the time out of the day to actually watch a full length video because some of my videos be like 20 minutes and y'all actually watch all that. So YouTube fans are more genuine and loyal. And so I really want to see you all there. Um, I've met a few YouTube fans and y'all are all very sweet people. You give me kind words and I enjoy talking to you. So I want to play some music for you and just give you a good time. So November 7th, check out the ticket link. All right, with no further ado, I need to practice uh, this music real quick and then get ready to go to the gig. Peace. Reading off my laptop is not the move. <laughs> All right, I'm heading there. Apparently, people are, um, the band is dressing like Yu-Gi-Oh characters. And the, oh my God, what is that? And the thing is, I didn't really grow up watching Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched other anime, but I didn't watch Yu-Gi-Oh. So, don't really know much about Yu-Gi-Oh characters. I just looked, I honestly went on Google and looked one up. And I saw one that had a white shirt and a red tie. So, I was like, okay, that's the easiest thing I can put together. Especially because, um, you know, the gig was a little last minute, so it's not like I had time to go and buy or, or form a whole costume or something. But a little chill vibe, you dig? Let's get it. Hey, it's early in the morning. I'm editing right now. 
I just wanted to say nobody in the band knows who that character was. And they're like, bro, who even is that? Where is that <laughs> where is that person from? I don't remember where they're from. Like, bro, I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so I just looked up somebody on uh, Google and that was the quickest thing that came up. I just thought that was funny. All right, we in the place. Yeah, everybody dressed up. It's a real neat place though. Don't try this at home, kids. Hey, we got Brendan and Troy. We got Tammy. What's up? <laughs> they got the smoke, the, the smoke machine, the fog machine out. We're about to get started soon. This is a real nice place. Wow. And a nice free cocktail. This tastes really good. It's the sesame colada. Amazing.
circle not stalls All right, everybody, it's the next morning. Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you purchase your tickets. The ticket link is below for my November 7th show slash party. Follow me on Instagram and keep supporting the channel. There are many more episodes of this. I think this is episode 29 of what it's like being a musician in New York. So we're approaching episode 30. Watch all those episodes and stay updated because I'm always posting these. Peace.